Have you ever wondered how cartoons get their shadows and look super finished? It's the multiply layer and it's amazing. It really gives your cartoons and characters extra depth and dimension. I'm going to start off by creating a new layer and then I color pick the skin tone and just bring the value of that in a little bit and darker and maybe a little bit more red. And then I change the layer to multiply and bring down the opacity, which gives a nice shadow effect. So you're going to want to start off going around places where you want some shadow and coloring it in. You can use a harder line at first and then come back and soften some of the edges and I'll show you how. My light source is coming from above, so I'm just generically giving some soft shadows everywhere. I also find it really helpful to make my shadow layer into a clipping mask so that I'm free to stay in the lines of everything. I also like to change the hue of the multiply layer, just see what it looks like in different colors. It gives different effects. So that's also something to think about when you're dealing with your blend modes, such as, you know, multiply like we're talking about. But yeah, I thought that I'd throw that out there because, you know, it's more red brown, but it could go more pinkish or more pink and purplish. When transitioning to another color, like the hair, I'll just do the same thing. I color pick that hair color, bring down the tone and value, make it a little bit warmer and hit multiply, bring back that opacity and start again. Here's the fun part. I'm going to choose an airbrush. So it's got a soft edge to it and I'm going to make all the edges that kind of come towards the light softer. It gives it a more natural effect and looks more finished. And there you go. It's easy peasy, it's fun, and it's super gratifying to have it look so finished with such little effort.